Paulson's Entertainment Here Review. 2016 was a very interesting year in the world of entertainment. I mean, who thought that Brad and Angelina would ever get divorced? Well, actually, with that many kids, I'm surprised they made it this long. But it was also the year we saw Full House come back to television in a Netflix special called Fuller House. So now our children can enjoy the joys of canned laughter, like we did. I thought we got rid of that crap. Anyway, top TV shows this year include the number one most viewed television show of all time. It was a uh, satire about Donald Trump running for president and eventually surprising everyone by winning. Oh, that, that was real. Yeah. In 2016, I think it's safe to say that music videos are no longer quite as popular as they used to be. Thanks to James Corden, they've been replaced by something far more enjoyable. It's called Carpool Karaoke, and it's getting upwards of 100 million views per episode. Two of my favorites from the past year, Adele, and most recently, Bruno Mars. Next on the list as a highlight from 2016 is Margot Robbie. Nothing specific, just love Margot Robbie. Without her, Suicide Squad really would have sucked. Yeah. And while on the topic of movies, let's take a look at the top three films at the box office worldwide for 2016. At number three, the cartoon Zootopia. Number two, another animated film, Finding Dory. And number one, Captain America Civil War. Which I think we can all agree is ironic. Yeah. The music world lost greats like George Michael, Prince, and Bowie. And on the screen, we lost some wonderful people as well, including the Allens, Alan Thicke, and Alan Rickman. We also most recently lost Princess Leia when Carrie Fisher passed away and not 24 hours later, her mom, Debbie Reynolds. There's too many people to name. It was a sad, sad year and many a losses. But looking ahead, there's so much excitement for 2017. We need to look forward to Guns N' Roses hitting up their North American tour. Look forward to a new Lego movie featuring the Batman character. And of course, we need to look forward to more great Saturday Night Live sketches featuring Alec Baldwin as Donald Trump. And my personal favorite thing that I'm looking forward to in 2017, Margot Robbie.